Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, a.k.a. Lemetheus, a.k.a. Right Hand of Zeus. And yes, I want everybody to like and... Like and subscribe or get a piece of loose seal. Yeah, like and subscribe like the kid said. Be just jumping in that damn baseball bat, that damn Lucille, just jumping in, taking my damn lines. Damn. Like to give a great big shout out for my man Snow and Ignorance Gamers channel for gracing me and my first podcast, The Dragon's Den, giving you viewers, you want to waits out there, you brand new newcomers, you new subscribers information on that project scorpio what it has done for the industry i hope y'all got a lot of that playstation 4 information yesterday and the projected things that we thought that nintendo is going where the switch is going i definitely enjoyed bringing that news to you and look forward to more podcasts coming out that dragon's den baby that's what we do and we're going to be bringing you playstation announcement at e3 nintendo press conference at e3 and microsoft live on this channel giving you what I think and what's going around in this video game business that we love to be in so much as gamers. Now on to today's news. Today's news, Nintendo is is moving forward on thinking positive in this new generation and moving like everybody else. A game has a problem, they release some patches. Right now, Zelda has a 1.1.1 1, 1 .1 1 patch out and they released another patch, 1.1.1, excuse me, 1.1, 1.1.2 patch for the, new, for the Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, this patch is supposed to give you more performance tweaks. I tried it out. I didn't see nothing different in the game. Still running pretty, it's running way better after that first patch. It could have been stuff we don't know about. Could have been bugs later on in the game we haven't seen. Whatever it is. They released the patch. I'm proud of you, Nintendo. Please keep up that motion. Keep it up, man. Now. The moment is here. It is here. Backwards compatibility, fans. That goddamn Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is on that backwards compatible list. And if you don't own a disc like your boy Lemetheus, go out to your local GameStop and cop it before they raise the price to $50. <laughs> That's what GameStop be doing. Game get on fire, they raise the goddamn price. 30 seconds. Game go for $21 to $2,500. Not 2500 it go to $50 though. But look, go to your local GameStop. If not, you can go to their Xbox store, download the Black Ops 1 and 2. It is official, backwards compatible, and your boy Lemetheus was streaming this morning on Beam. Beam.pro forward slash one away dragons. Look for that stream on that. Yes, my man Lucky Shots was hosting me this morning. Beam started acting crazy. Your boy Lemon had to get off. But thanks for the support, Lucky. Definitely. Looking for look at look at his stream on Beam. Lucky Shots. Guys, amazing streamer. Now let's get back into this. Uncharted Lost Legacy has an official date of August 22nd. <sighs> Keep it coming, Sony. Keep it coming, Sony. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Keep it coming. And has an excellent price of $39.99. You don't even have to own the first Uncharted 4 to play this game. It's a separate standalone game. It comes with co-op and it comes with a full blown out multiplayer. You know what's the best part of this? When you pre-order, you get Jack and Daxter for free. Yes, that remake that's coming to PlayStation 4. That's what I'm talking about. Now, Ghost Recon Wildlands. We are getting on April 18th that first DLC for the season pass holders and April 25th for everybody else. $14.99, 15 bucks. You might as well just go buy the season pass one shot. That game is amazing. The co-op is amazing. Listen, I wasn't into the co-op. That game got me hooked. Great goddamn title. It's selling fantastically. Let's just hope they drop that multiplayer sooner than later and go get that. 
Go get the season pass. Never buy DLC separately. If you like a game, just buy the season pass because you lose out as a gamer and, a, and the people who financially back these developers, who is us, you lose out. Now, over, Overwatch PvE mode is available. It's called Uprising. You're going to be fighting hordes of enemies with your friends. That's what I'm talking about. Got that, whoo, that Gears of Wars feeling, baby. And that game is goddamn amazing. 25 million soul and counting and cooperative play. That's what Xbox Live and PSN is all about. Getting together with your friends and going out there and kicking some ass. Now you're playing against the computer. Great update. And you really got to pat Blizzard on the back. Blizzard has been feeding us with events, costumes, holiday stuff for free, man. Just support the game. Go out there and cop that game, man. Gears of War 4 has announced in the next coming months that they're going to have cross-play between PC users of Gears 4 and Xbox One users. This is another great feature. And... If you are Xbox owner and you don't want to play with PC people, there's going to be a toggle inside the game to say, play with PC people, don't play with PC people. So once again, this is options for the gamer. When they put the date out, your boy 1123 is going to be out here and I'm going to make sure you get that information straight to you. Now, this is the exclusive your boy Lemetheus is bringing to you. That's what I'm bringing to you. This is what I'm bringing to you. Scorpio dev kits have hit the streets. They're going out to more and more developers. And this is the great news. Now, for people that don't understand what a dev kit is, a dev kit is the system of the, of the system that they choose to develop on for that platform of choice. Now, in this case, it would be a Scorpio. The Scorpio dev kit looks like a goddamn Xbox One S. It looks damn near the same size. Now, a dev kit is more powerful and carries more RAM than the retail console. This one has 24 gigabytes of GDR5 and the GPU is at 44 cool, uh, compute units compared to 40. But generally, it's the same system and they need that much extra power so they could do debugging and other stuff like that, coding, and you kind of need more processing power just to pop, instead of just popping in the game and playing like your console you were gonna have, but it's definitely something to look forward to. And I told you, your boy Lemon always bringing you something exclusive. I'm gonna put the link down in the description and you can go read the article. When you go read the article, within that link, within that link that I'm gonna provide for you, there's an interview with my man Phil Spencer, breaking it down on his thoughts of when he first took over Xbox in 2014. Not only did he take it over, he said he was going to revamp the company and change it to his direction. And being that this man is a former developer for Microsoft, when he makes something, he knows what he's doing because he's a damn developer. So he didn't just come from being a secretary or the bus boy and they made him president because he has a degree. He actually has gaming experience and he's a gamer. So this is the type of people you want to lead your company. The ones that have experience, and Phil Spencer have it. Now that's all the news that Lamithi has got for you today. And I really hope that y'all see and appreciate that your boy is out here getting all this information to you because I'm working hard. That Dragon's Den was a, definitely a bonus for me yesterday, and it's definitely going to be way more to come. Got plenty of news and stuff to continue to drive this channel to where we need to go as a community. 108, stand up. Stand up. That's all the news I got for you today. And I'm out, chill.